Hello, Charlotte. I'm so excited to talk to you today for She Can. Tell us a little about yourself and what you do. Hello, Steffi. Hello, and hello, everyone watching. I am an actor uh, in theatre, film, and television. And I was at Drama Society at University, and then I went to Lambda, the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art, for two years, and then went out into the big wide world of acting. Uh, for me, uh, for many, it's a it's a very direct path. Um, some people, some people get an agent and off they go and they go from job to job to job and they're very lucky, but they are a rare few. For most of us, we sort of zigzag our way and we start off doing lots of free jobs. We do theatre jobs for free and all sorts of other work for free just to build up our CVs and get our foot in the door. And then we get an agent and then we stay with them for a while and then we move agents and then we stay with them for a while. And then, so in my 20 years, I've had four agents. And one of the great things I've learned about agents is, which I sort of learned the hard way, is on my third agent, I was really, really, really excited that I had been with, I was, I was now going to be with one of the big names. And it was a big agency and I was really excited about this particular agent. And actually I realized later on, a few years later, I don't need to be in a big agency. It's not about the name. It is absolutely about the agent. And so if anyone out there wants to be an actor, I would say find someone who digs you, who really gets you, who understands you, is passionate about you, makes you laugh, make you, you know, laughs at your jokes too, but not in a um, sucky up way. They're <laughs> laughing at your jokes because they think you're really funny. And, and they want to encourage you and they want to get out there and they're really, really fun. Uh, casting directors have to spend evenings with your agents and your agent has to be fun. Your agent is someone that, you know, has to extol everything about you through themselves. So they have to be very good sales men and women as well. Uh, so yeah, so I'm, my last job was at the National Theatre on the South Bank uh, doing The Visit, which was a wonderful play, which I know you came to. And I loved it. It was an you amazing loved it. play. Yeah, incredible. It felt, <laughs> it felt like a really big play, but experimental at the same time. Yes, yes. And of course, it was a new ad adaptation. Tony Kushner had done a, a modern adaptation of a Friedrich Duren map. So it was an old play that had was have being revamped. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. Uh, COVID's been a bit funny. Uh, denied us all a lot of work, but uh, things, are, things are coming back, which is good. Thank you, Charlotte, for sharing that. You, you've gone right in. Woo! Um, <laughs> I love that. Charlotte, I'm wondering, tell us a little bit more about your journey and how you got to this place, um, um, obviously as an actress, and, and also maybe what is your motivation going forwards? Um, as, as, as I said, really, as an actor, you, you do go from job to job. You're um, striving always. You're, you're trying to make connections. And as soon as you make a connection on a film, maybe you, you make a connection with, a, with, a, with an actor or one of the writers or one of the directors. And then that director then remembers you and calls you up and says, hey, I'm doing the next job. You know, can you be in that with me? And can you do this and can you do that? And it becomes this wonderful network and and the longer you're in the industry the more connections you make and your name becomes um a, a bit more well known and you you become respected uh, for what you do and and people you know ask you to come and audition for things more more readily it's i, I am a jobbing actor i'm not someone who goes uh, breezes through from job to job to job and as a result i have other jobs and I'm a reflexologist. I also have an, uh, an events company called the Pocket Embassy with my friend Camilla. And we, uh, what do we do? We, in a nutshell, we read to adults because everybody reads to their children, but who reads to the adults? Once we're adults, nobody reads to us anymore unless you've got a very gorgeous beloved who does that. And so that's what we do. And we have events 
around around the city and we put mattresses down and pillows and we give everyone cocktails but we read to them and a lot of them go to sleep and we love that <laughs> so what motivates me is is how you know always having creativity in my life always having um something up my sleeve and i've got lots and lots of those i know you do charlotte absolutely <laughs> Charlotte, maybe it would be interesting to know a little bit how the process changed with the pandemic. I now I know you often don't go in person. You have to sort of mount an audition at home. How has that changed? I think it's 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 beneficial in some ways and not in others. It's beneficial in that you can self tape from anywhere. So. You, you know, you're in, at your home in Sussex, I'm here in London, we can, I can film wherever I am. And so I could actually be on holiday and film and send it in and nobody would be the wiser. On the other hand, uh, you have to up your game. We have to, I, I ended up buying studio equipment and all that to sort of make my videos and that I'm doing on my telephone and make, make them as, as good as I could possibly make them. But also I think you really miss out on the personal quality of being in the room with someone. Don't forget we are actors. We like to be with people. We like to communicate with people. And if you're communicating down a phone um, with pre-recorded lines on your phone, in your own voice, opposite yourself, it's, it's, much harder and not, and not much fun and also when you're in the room you know you can the director what was so nice about being in the room with the director is the director would say hey I loved it that you did it that way why don't we try it this way can you do it angry can you do it uh, fearful can you do it sad can you do it and you can show your range whereas if you're filming something and sending it in you're only showing them one possibly two takes uh, of how you do it so it's gradually changing um but i think self tapes is here to stay but it is changing a little bit we we are seeing a few more people in in person but that's mainly at recall stage yeah i so, understand yeah it's tricky it's tricky because we're personable actors personable Absolutely. people and we want to we want to be in the room and it seems very much yeah. a people's business it is and that's, they are the people that motivate me. Every time you're in the theater and you're rehearsing and every day is different and you're surrounded by an incredible bunch of talent from the lighting designers, the director, the writers, the man or woman who's creating your props. It's, it's a, you're, you're a team and it, that uh, group of visionaries together and having an end objective is thrilling. I love that. And every time you're in a job doing that, it motivates you to want to do the next one. Amazing, I love that. It's really about a team of creatives uh, creating something together. That's beautiful. Thank you for mentioning that. Yeah. Charlotte, I'm wondering, what do you think is your superpower? What do you have that makes you so good at this? Uh... What do I have that makes me so good at acting? Do you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I asked a friend of mine uh, recently, what if I had a superpower, what would it be? And he said, but you do have superpowers already. And I said, okay, so what is my superpower? And he said, it's not sexy. And I said, right, well, what is it? And he said, friendliness. And he said, you're one of those people that you have friendliness with everybody wherever you go. And I thought that was a real compliment. It isn't sexy and it isn't flash and it isn't, but it's, it, and it's not something I layer upon myself. It is just there. And it's, but it does help you meet remarkable people and make connections. And I mean, I, I do have one sort of superpower, which is that I'm, I'm an HSP, which is a highly sensitive person, and I have incredibly um, sensitive hearing. So I can hear a, a tap drip three floors down. <laughs> it's not very helpful, <laughs> but I have that sort of minor superpower. But as an actor, 
acting is listening and reacting. And my listening and my hearing is very sharp. So I don't know if they're in any way related, but <laughs> definitely they're definitely related. And I know you got healing hands because I know you as a reflexologist as well as I do yes. as an actress. So and yes. you definitely have, you know, an incredible presence on stage and you're definitely sexy. So you got that all of that. <laughs> and God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Charlotte, what would your top tips be for other women? Gosh. Top tips for other women. I like the expression, stay interesting. Uh, no, that's wrong. I've got that wrong. Stay interested, be interesting. I think we should not all be one thing. I think uh, one career for one life is quite unusual or limiting. And so I think we should rejoice in the idea of being undefined. I love that. And, learning, and reinventing. Learning, reinventing, uh, keep making, keep creating. If you are a creative, my problem is I've got so many interests that I can't keep up with exploring them all, but I'm trying. And uh, yeah, and delegate, delegate. That's super important. <laughs> I'm hopeless at it, but that's a top tip. I tell anyone, delegate, because we're all brilliant multitaskers, but we take on far too much. Yeah, thank you for sharing that, Charlotte. What would your dreams or plans be for the future, for your future? My dream would be to have an assistant that I can delegate things to. <laughs> and therefore I would get on more with my the creative stuff that I really want to do. I really want to write. That's what I want to do. And I also want to maybe put on some plays and uh, yeah, explore lots and lots of lots of creative avenues. I love that, Charlotte. It's going to come your way. I know that. Thank yes. you so much for sharing your story today. Thank you. And thank you for doing this platform. I think it's awesome. <laughs>